So today is a uh, Friday, which is usually when I would release a new blog. But in this season, I'm going to be back and forth between blogs and video blogs. So this is going to be the very first vlog, um, if we must say that I do. And hopefully by doing the vlog, I can keep it shorter <laughs> and sweeter uh, for those of you that like to watch and not read. And so um, one of the things I want to share with you guys is from Joshua. And it's a revelation that God gave me um, several probably months ago that I was supposed to share within the blog but in the crossing over in Joshua when the children of Israel began to cross over to their promised land I want you to pay particular um, attention to the fact that and I'll post the 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 scripture references below because I like to give you guys the scripture references um, but I, I want you to take particular note to um, the fact that when they got ready to cross over the presence of the lord had to go before them that was the first thing the second thing joshua told them to do was that they had to cleanse themselves they had to sanctify themselves and there are so many of us that are waiting for the promises of god that we're 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 hustling and bustling and we're trying to grind and grit and we're putting so much work into it where we're not charging our angels to go before us and we're not relying on the holy spirit's presence to be in our lives before we even take the next step um and it, it could even more so be in a realm that the presence of god is not manifested even in your life you're asking god for his hand you're asking god for all of the blessings that are due to you and god wants to bless you but you don't want him you know, you feel like if you give him a Sunday service, then that's good enough. Or if you uh, just do a quick devotional a day, then that's good enough when God wants to commune with you and have a relationship with you every single day. And so it's not so much as about what you do. It's about what type of relationship are you willing to build for his presence to be before you. And I charge you to understand that success without the presence of God is likely the presence of the enemy over your life i was at a point where i i could could have chosen the enemy's success for my life over god's success for my life and with that it's come with sacrifices but it's come with me choosing to honor him it's come with me choosing to put his presence before um, anything else that I do and it's come with me choosing to sanctify myself in whatever area he's required of me so before anything that we need to be doing as far as trying to reach any level of success he told Joshua Joshua in Joshua 1 8 he said this book you meditate on day and night to be sure to observe what you read and in doing that you will make your way prosperous you will make your way successful so God wants us to be successful God wants us to have success in life but we have to be willing to understand that if we're going to do this in a Bible uh, structured way that his presence needs to be in our lives and I can guarantee you you don't want success without God you don't want success without God. You don't want that. And then not only when you get that success, but having the heart to be able to allow God to use you with that success. And so um, that's just a real quick tidbit for today. Like I said, um, I could go so much further into it and I'll post this on the, the blog page as well. But the presence of God is a magnet for success in your life and you can't measure your success with the world's success if it's not God's way so for instance you know uh, some people may tell you that it's, it's not good to give but that's totally contradictory to what the scriptures say so you have to understand that pure success in the word to be successful in the word according to the word of God you have to utilize the principles and one of the key principles is not neglecting God's word which is his presence 
the Ark of the Covenant was his presence. Now we have the Holy Bible. We have the Bible in front of us. We have the Bible to access on our phones, um, in print or whatever. It's his presence. It's his very manifested presence that will speak to you and give you wisdom, give you all types of witty ideas and, and, and allow you to make yourself successful so that he can establish his covenant on earth. See, your success is not just tied to you. Your success is not just tied to you. This is a promise that was given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So you, if you want the type of godly success that is due to us through biblical promises, be sure that you're keeping his presence um, first and foremost in your life. And starting with the word and of course before that starting with salvation um and accepting jesus as lord and savior of your life for forgiveness of your sins and so that's all i got is already speaks don't forget to check out um the rest of the blogs don't forget to check out our website witnesslegend.com we've got uh, a call to purity sales all this week with the 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 key book a call to purity as well as sexual skeletons and sexually wise of uh, the whole month of february there'll be 99 cent or on some type of sale um and that's just pretty much gearing up for the new release which is 40 days to freedom which is a devotional journal um from the a call to purity series and so that's all i got if i look a little rough i'm sorry i had to get this video done regardless of all that y'all give me a minute to get the the, the styling down <laughs> um but anyway y'all have a good day it's been real zoe d speaks